for most of you watching this, it's probably the most important video I have ever shot and will hopefully change a lot in your life. There's a little challenge at the end of it, so make sure you watch all the way through because I'll be challenging you. With this video, I want to give you unconditional permission to eat and help you build a healthy relationship with food and get rid of that thought of food being good or bad. So we're at a stage now in the nutritional world where there's been multiple studies done of high quality that shows us there isn't a single food that will cause weight gain, there isn't a single food that will stop weight loss. It's simply about eating too many calories and being in a calorie surplus. There are studies out there where they have fed people super high sugar, super low sugar, two groups of people. The people with the super high sugar, I'm talking your chocolate, your cakes, your cereals, your breads. The other group of people where vegetables and chicken and all the stuff that you perceive as being super low sugar and super healthy. They gave both groups exactly the same calorie deficit for their body and both groups over the period of time lost exactly the same weight. So this simply tells us that there isn't any particular food that stops or causes weight gain. It's simply being in a calorie surplus and there's no particular food that stops fat loss from happening. It's simply being in a calorie deficit. So these types of studies now have been repeated over and over and over again to the point where we can actually say you can eat anything you want as long as you're in a calorie deficit you will lose weight and i really really want you to understand this to the point where i want you to write this statement down i can eat anything i want there is no good or bad food make sure you remember it okay so you might have this little voice in your head now or you might even be shouting at the screen saying yeah but that's not healthy chris you're right it's not healthy so let's explore how we can make this healthy and why I'm telling you this. The main reason why I'm going through this video and I'm so passionate about it is because it's going to build you a healthier relationship with food. And that in turn is going to then help you get to your goal in the long term. So we know from the studies, you know from your experience, I know from my experience that if we take foods away, like chocolate or sugar or whatever, we're going to crave them. It makes sense. Now the studies and the brain scans and the geeky stuff behind all this nutritional stuff that I know tells us that if we remove them foods for long enough and we crave them for long enough, when we put them back in again, whether it's on purpose or by mistake, like you fall off plan, your brain will produce similar results as to when somebody is addicted to something like cocaine. So now you might be thinking, oh shit, I'm not going to eat any sugar, I'm not going to eat anything bad because it's like cocaine. This is what the newspapers did quite a while ago. Well, actually, what I want you to do is flip that on its head. I want you to, on purpose, eat the chocolate or the cake or whatever it is that you think is a bad food. But I want you to fit it within the calorie goal that we have set. Now, with this, I have had people go from three to four big blocks of chocolate in secret binge eating not telling anybody several times per week and never getting any results with their their weight loss goals to people eating half a block of chocolate every single day not feeling guilty hitting their calorie goal and actually losing some weight and getting to their goals okay so next we need to work on how how are we going to fit this into your fitness lifestyle so we need to be a little bit clever in terms of calorie density meaning how big the food is that you're eating so for example chocolate is highly dense and highly calorific for its size it's not a bad food it's just small for the amount of calories that are in it the problem is it will taste nice but it just won't fill you up and it will just use all your calories up really really quickly for the day so in other words it fulfills your cravings but it doesn't fill you up so on the flip side, you can have a massive salad, track it, lettuce, tomato, cucumber, loads of chicken. It will be huge. It will really fill you up, but it won't fulfill your cravings. So basically, it's a game of fulfilling your hunger, fulfilling your cravings, but also hitting your calorie goal. So there's no chance of cracking or falling off the bandwagon. Cracking or falling off the bandwagon might just be giving up tracking it might just be eating the foods 
without considering calorie balance or it might be a full-on binge like I used to do in my early 20s. So this is going back 15 years ago where I would avoid sugar, I would avoid anything that I thought was bad, I would avoid anything that I read was going to be unhealthy and I would do that as long as possible and then I would end up cracking at the weekend or just a random Wednesday night and I would go into the cupboards and I would just see what foods I could find and if the food wasn't there I'd go to the supermarket and buy one two or three boxes of cocoa pops and chocolate milk and stand in the kitchen eating them all as fast as possible and then feeling really guilty and feeling really upset sometimes I would end up crying and I just didn't understand what the hell was going on. And basically I was binge eating. So I fully get this bit inside out. I've lived it. And for the past 10 years, I've not needed to binge. And I'm not trying not to binge. And it's because of the stuff in this video. So I just need you to think of food as energy. And that energy, we can record it as calories. Then you have a number of calories to hit each day, which we did earlier on in other videos. And that number that was set was a calorie deficit. And most probably that calorie deficit is around about 500 calories. So if you go a little bit over that number, you're not miraculously going to gain weight the next day. You're still going to be in a calorie deficit. A little analogy for you is if you went to the supermarket, you had a five pound note and that's all you had to feed, to feed yourself for a day. You'd be quite careful about what you selected to make sure that you didn't go over that five pound. This is exactly the same as it is day to day when you've got your calorie number to hit. So I need you to remember this for the next section. So with that budget, your calories, or the fiver, for example, you need to fulfill your cravings and you need to fulfill your hunger. And next, we need to think about considering health. So as long as you stick to 80% what you would perceive as being healthy food, 20% as what you perceive as being bad food or unhealthy food, so your vegetables, your chicken, your fruits, what you would know as being healthy, your dairy products versus your chocolate and your cake, around about 20%, around about 80%, you're going to fulfill a lot of the nutritional needs to keep you in a healthy state. Let's explore a little bit further. The perception that comes with these unhealthy food that they're going to cause some bad health implications comes from people that just eat them and they don't consider the other healthy stuff. If you eat some chocolate, if you eat a piece of birthday cake and you're in a calorie deficit, nothing bad is going to happen. You're not miraculously going to start gaining weight overnight. So just relax. You can eat any food. Chocolate, for example, any food is just a combination of carbs, fats, proteins, fiber, minerals, vitamins, some chemicals in there. And guess what? We need all of them. And the more varied you can be with your diet, it's shown in studies, the more healthier you're going to be. This includes even chocolate. So my challenge for this video is for you to go and eat some of them foods in the 20% that you perceive as being unhealthy and stop thinking of it as good or bad foods, but fit it within your calories for the day. For example, if you're going to have a piece of birthday cake, don't worry, fit it within your calories and try and make the rest of the day have a lot more of that healthy stuff in it. That's pretty much it. Then when you catch yourself feeling guilty or feeling bad about a food, come back and watch this video, give your head a wobble and understand the food is just calories, it's just energy. It's your mind that's telling you it's good or it's bad. Later on in the other videos I'm gonna shoot, we'll talk about carbs, fats, proteins, fibers, all these vitamins and minerals and how you can fit them into your healthy lifestyle. But for now, just think about calories in versus calories out.